Hey everybody, welcome back to another week at the One Number YouTube channel. Um, in today's tutorial, what I want to do is walk through how you can easily identify which values have been grouped if you use one of the grouping options in Tableau Prep. So this is something that has come up in some classes that I've taught, and I wish there was a quick way that you could just tell Tableau, hey, only show me the grouped values, but that doesn't exist, so we're gonna take a few extra steps to be able to find it for ourselves. Uh, so I've got a data set here which shows credit card contestations. So a row would say, okay, John said that he didn't make this $10,000 purchase. John lives in Tacoma, whatever, all these other details. So unfortunately, it turns out that there is some dirtiness to this data. So you can see things like typos, like Bellevue VUE versus Bellevue VIEW. So let's say that I'm like, you know, I want to trust Tableau Prep's internal grouping features to be able to say something like, hey, group by pronunciation. It seems like there's a typo, you know, something like that, or there's something where there's like Seattle, but one has two T's and one has one T. It's like, hey, I want to be able to just clean this up without having to do these by hand. So I'm going to use the uh, ellipses here next to my city field. And actually, before I do the group, this is important, I'm going to duplicate my city field, okay? So this duplicate city one, I'm just gonna rename this to be city original, okay? And leave that as is for now. So now I'm gonna go to city and I'm gonna hit the little drop down, and I'm gonna say group values using pronunciation. Okay, cool. So I can see that some groups have been created. So you see like Tacoma has the little paperclip icon next to it. So if I select Tacoma, it will show me, okay, Tacoma with a C, Tacoma with a K. That's what got grouped. So sure, I can go find all these groups that occurred one by one. But when you have a large enough data set, that's not always practical. And it's not quick for kind of verification purposes. So I'm going to hit done for now. And then I'm going to hit the ellipses next to city again and I'm going to create a level of detail expression. So I go to create calculated field, fixed LOD. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say group by city and give me my distinct count of city original. So you can see, okay, there's a lot of places where, you know, there was cities that didn't get renamed. Sacramento didn't find a match, so it's just Sacramento, whereas Seattle had, you know, one T and two T, or Tacoma got regrouped, so those would show up under two, and there were some places where even three city names got grouped together. So I'm going to hit done, and I'm actually now going to use an aggregate tool, so I'm going to hit the plus button after clean one, aggregate, and I'm going to put city city original and that fixed LOD, I didn't rename it. So this is called fixed LOD one, but you could call it like city count if you want to. I'm going to drag those all into the grouped fields section and add another clean step after this. So you might be wondering, why did I just do this aggregate step? Well, I didn't want to see all the individual records. You know, I just, I want to see, you know, one record for Seattle with one T and one record for Seattle with two T's. I don't want to see, hey, this one had 30 records and this one had 74. And that's a lot of noise to me. So what I'm going to do after this clean after aggregate one is I'm just going to exclude the ones. And what this leaves me with is a, it just shows me the grouped city names that had at least two cities, if not even sometimes three cities that rolled up to that individual value. So for instance, you can see in my city, which is the grouped value, if I select Bellevue here, it's going to highlight and it's going to say, hey, this was actually Bellevue VIEW and Bellevue VUE. Everett is Everett plus Everett. Olympia is Alhambra plus Olympia. So that's an example of a place where a group occurred that we probably need to go back and change that because that's no good. Puyallup is good. Um, San Diego, not so good, right? San Diego, Santa Cruz, Santa Clara. Seattle, uh, going down to the bottom here, looks good. And Tacoma looks good. So what I could do here, so let's, let's just use Olympia as our example where it got Olympia and Alhambra. I would go back to clean one and I'd have to open up my changes 
and I would want to, uh, where would it be? Give me just a moment here. Go into the group values and edit this step. And then when I saw, you know, for instance, that if I found Olympia, so let's scroll down to that. I could even probably search it. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to deselect either Alhambra or Olympia to break that connection. Hey, those shouldn't actually get grouped together. So let's not do that. And now if I went back to Queen 3, I would see that Olympia is gone. So this is kind of a cool way that you can do some real life troubleshooting and checking to make sure that your groups are doing the things that you want. And you can kind of do some cleanup, you know, go back, change it, go forward again and see how that turned out. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, this is how I identify group values in Tableau Prep um, to be able to you know, make real-time changes. So thanks for checking in. We appreciate it, and we look forward to catching you on yet again uh, another video soon.